Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Saving Your Disaster Campaign, The Meat Grinder. This is episode number 9 and it's the second one that I will do with a voiceover. I promised you in the last one that we're going to have an assault on an alien facility. Pretty much a similar team that we're ending up with. Uh, you can see by now, uh, kind of just with the type of soldiers that we're having, these all are soldiers that need uh, to be further leveled up. We got our Spark, two snipers, Grenadier plus uh, Assault and a Specialist. So really the standard four classes plus whatever we can find and master for our team um, is what we're putting into this mission. I think the one uh, small problem that I had was yeah, I wasn't looking up um, how many um, enemies were actually fighting, 11. And I think I was not expecting that we're going to see anything else here. But that very soon is going to change uh, without spoil uh, spoiling too much. Oh yeah, I remember that vision. It was something else. Um, so I am, going, uh, I am moving everyone up to the front here. Uh, there is no timer on the mission, so might as well just continue moving. And we spot the first pack again. Nothing like out of uh, out of the ordinary. Got a shield bearer codex, a trooper codex, and that's pretty much the oh no, uh, and another um, uh, priest plus. Um, stun answer. So pretty much a standard uh, type of. Um, uh, three different patrols. I am still debating with myself whether or not to engage all three of them because it's only patrols of two so far and overall it's only 11 um, uh, soldiers. And there isn't really that much that they could do against us using the high ground here on the right hand side with our snipers for some uh, nice um, uh, shooting angles and uh, trying to set up a crossfire. Now that all of uh, them are finally clumped up, I am debating whether or not you should start with a grenade and do a bit of a, I still remember, I do a little bit of a, a recitation that you shouldn't start with a grenade here because what's going to happen is if you were to start with a grenade, you would deal a lot of uh, upfront damage, but no one would die. Then they go into full cover and that really stinks. So instead of what we're doing is we're using one of the snipers with the worst um, shooting angle taking out the highest priority target, which is the Codex. Then afterwards, we're going to use our um, explosives to take away the cover. And I would say this is really textbook uh, 101 standard engagement. Start with uh, the uh, Codex and uh, start with killing the highest priority target, then take away cover if possible, specifically if you have plasma grenades. Uh, try to shred the targets and um, use if possible, first of all, cooldowns. And once uh, that is no longer enough, you might as well switch and and take some uh, take some consumables. So what you see here is I'm using overdrive, and once overdrive is uh, almost done, and I have too much of an aim penalty, I'll just go in and uh, try to finish uh, the guy myself. Um, we are. Yep, preparing to kill uh, the stun lancer. Then with death from above, uh, we're essentially using um, our plasma grenade, which by the way, oh no, we're not, oh, we're, we are, sorry. We're using the plasma grenade, which um, shouldn't be on a sniper to begin with, but the reason why it's still there, uh, as you know, there was uh, not enough equipment at the beginning, so I just needed to scrape, uh, scrape together whatever I could uh, take. Same principle as before, um, get rid of the cover, then move up and essentially hit and kill all of the enemies. You can uh, see with the remaining cooldowns, we're hitting the enemy quite hard. Not using the once permission cooldowns um, uh, like the teamwork, not if I can help it. And there we go. Got a nice little tower there. Not a big problem. Specifically not if you're having uh, snipers that can take care of it.
yeah. So everyone kind of moves a, a tiny bit forward. As you can see, we're not going any closer. Instead, we're just overwatching for now. There is no timer on this mission, so might as well take your time. Something that people are often forgetting to do is to reload uh, properly. And that leads to situations like having those uh, having those um, uh, prolonged fights three, four, or five um, rounds in, and everyone all of a sudden needs to reload. And that's really, really a big problem because there is such a thing as momentum in the game. And if you need to reload, that costs you a lot of actions. So pretty much um, a loss of momentum as you're going through that. So my suggestion is whenever you can, uh, that's lesson number two out of uh, this particular um, uh, this particular uh, video, try to get um, a reload going. Same deal as before, we're using um, grenades to remove cover and to shred uh, the, um, the uh, gatekeeper. We're using our rocket launcher in the hopes of uh, hitting the tower up there. Unfortunately, that is not as simple as it might look. And I think I'm not going to be successful if I remember correctly. I was under the impression I could easily uh, shoot the grenade there, uh, the rocket there. Uh, that impression was wrong, so I wasted a turn. Um, even I uh, do have um, problems aiming uh, grenades from time to time. Still think uh, one of uh, the uh, weaker design concepts in XCOM 2, um, the ability to uh, to place grenades, sometimes a bit wonky, to say the least. So, moved over an action. I don't know if you have noticed it, but let's see that again. So, uh, this here has to do with action economy as well. So, here it is. Uh, I do have two actions. I know I want to, now that I can't kill the tower, I want to try to shut it down. But uh, using that action right away would have essentially wasted another action. We do have a teamwork or an aid protocol, though. So here's yet another tip um, from this uh, video. Really make sure that you're always using all of the actions available. I got a free action here um, on the Grenadier, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're using the um, protocol on top of it. Going for the control of the tower could have also shut it down. Um, I think the... Uh, the backup um, the plan was to use the sniper if uh, need to be. And we're now in a situation where we really can engage the pack. We know there's another pack kind of in the middle of the facility, so we don't want to go too close. But at the same time, um, if we do have a great position like that one here, uh, we're able to simply continue to shred the um uh, the gatekeeper we're going to use our newly found tower just to dish out some extra damage and then with blue screen rounds we are going to kill the gatekeeper good job Moving a bit closer because uh, the um, the penalty for uh, squad side was a bit high. We're using a mimic beacon just to get them into a position uh, where both of them will cluster up. I put them um, deliberately in melee range so that both of the archons would uh, move up. Now a protocol in order again. Efficiency in uh, action economy, that is the most important thing. And that's when I'm reviewing um, other people's XCOM content. The reason why uh, specialists sometimes get a bad reputation is because people really don't fully appreciate how strong it is to almost always have two actions every single round. Threat assessment means I just shifted a free Overwatch plus a defense bonus to the mech. That is awesome. Like that's a shot right there for free. On top of it, I can now take the shot. Um, so that's two actions right there. Good. We are 
trying to injure uh, the Archons, and as so often, I realize just how much I hate them, uh, because they do have a lot of defense, but they, do, uh, they don't have anything against Shotgun to the face. Well, apparently they do. 96% chance, and they still... They still uh, uh, miss. There is a small piece of damage, but not a crit. They are the bane of the existence, uh, even in the end game. They are not easy to simply kill. So something like a pretty solid chance for ensured uh, damage, like with the strike, is helpful. Keep in mind they also can dodge, which just makes the whole thing that much more uncomfortable. There you go, of course. That was the dodge we were looking for. And, yep. We started to overwatch. Thankfully, though, we had um, the aid protocol shifted, so with threat assessment. The original shot that we have given over at the end saved this round. And I'm not saying that because I already knew that the round was saved. Quite frankly, I did not remember that that shot was such a good one. Um, but it shows, had I not used uh, the time uh, of the specialist efficiently, I would have actually wasted a lot of potential there. We're now trying to kill the tower, uh, which is fine. Getting everyone in a somewhat solid position there. Reloading, as I mentioned beforehand, you always want to reload. And then finally, we finish off the tower, which is good. Um, new round, putting everyone into a solid position. I know that there is a pack in there. We want to get good aiming angles without triggering anyone, which is why this is another reload round. And we're overwatching. There's one more pack in there. And it's pretty straightforward. Opening the door. Surprise, surprise, yet another gatekeeper. Yep, there can be two of them per mission, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, best thing to do here is really to Lob in a grenade, making sure that they are getting shredded as much as possible. The I decide that uh, the specialist will be the mimic beacon uh, thrower for this run. At least I think that that's what I decide. Oh yeah, I remember this overdrive. Um, in order to get some high ground and the pre-monitor tells me that I can see everyone. Once I was up there, I could only see two of them and not the um, not the gatekeeper, which was pretty disheartening, to be honest. I cursed a tiny bit. Moving up. And so we're using, I think, 8 protocol again in a second. Yeah, lots of 70% shots that are missing on top of uh, on top of what we what we were trying to do beforehand. Luckily, the face off at least hit uh, a, a few of them. I'm thinking about using run and gun and just positioning ourselves in a smart um, in a smart way. Ended up with uh, deciding to go there, blade storm. I would have killed this trooper, but I wanted to make sure that he definitely dies. Handing our aid protocol over for an extra overwatch shot. So that's again um, action economy right there. And we're trying to uh, take control over the mech, which did not function. So in return, I decided to. Uh, simply kill it, use the Mimic Beacon, uh, knowing that um, they won't kill it right away. There is the original shot from the Threat Assessment 8 protocol, and both of them are essentially moving in. 
There you go. Let me begin save today once again. This time I was way more careful because I wanted to make sure that we're definitely going to hit uh, the eyeball, um, uh, making sure that we can that we can and will shred it. And once that's done, we're using our uh, blue screen rounds. to successfully kill it. There we go, double um, uh, gatekeeper successfully killed. Everyone gets in and we're trying to get out of the situation. Reinforcements are coming in. I think I'm not farming them. Uh, it, at this point, I simply wanted to get out of here. Yeah, good. Time to take a look at our promotions. We um, got a promotion for the Mac, uh, used self-repair here just to make it more sturdy. I'm taking selections that I would um, suggest for someone who's losing a lot of uh, soldiers and we got superior agility, which is just a phenomenal um, PCS, something that either of the Reapers or uh, Templar uh, or some uh, someone alike could use. I think the rest here is really mostly weapons and equipment. Uh, we're continuing the training on our Psy operatives. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, that's all fine and good. We are just done with our reduction of the avatar progress. You can see I've now cleared the bar, the avatar bar to zero. Got ourselves our kernel, another dodge plus 10 increase, which is uh, superb, uh, really uh, well done. Um, and we're now starting to research towards uh, the Chosen, uh, making sure that uh, we're giving the promotion to um, a Major. Uh, between Major and Colonel, it takes the most um, XP. So making a Major or Colonel is just a a very nice way of uh, utilizing the promotion and finally we're approving that so next mission after that is a mission in New Brazil Operation Death Slab uh, with the neutralization of an advent in a target vehicle is that where I screw up not sure I'm not sure if it was here, but I screwed up one mission, um, which I basically just continued to scan on the Geoscape. It wasn't like a big deal, but um, it could have been this one here. I don't think that that, uh, that it was uh, this mission. Um, so yeah, the next one is a VIP rescue mission, unless I, it is the one that I screwed up. I don't know. So I know that in one of uh, those campaigns, I accidentally clicked the fast forward button and then the mission was gone. This brings us to the end of uh, this episode, only a 20 minutes quickie. Um, we basically rushed uh, through um, the whole uh, deal, explaining what the thought process was and why I played the way I played. Relatively straightforward kind of mission with 11 enemies, nothing really that difficult. Uh, the overall progress of the campaign is we almost have it stabilized. Um, if I'm uh, remembering correctly, there are two more missions after this to kind of get it to a fully stabilized uh, format. Uh, just relax, enjoy the show, guys. And if you ever uh, encounter a disaster campaign where you feel you cannot progress anymore, uh, please contact me. I would love to do another one. Uh, the hardest thing about disaster campaigns is actually getting them. Apparently people uh, feel ashamed that they um, have not beaten the game and don't want to share uh, the game files, which is really a sh uh, uh, which is really too bad because I think this year is uh, fun for everyone, including the person uh, that sent in the game file. You get a bit of a highlight on what worked well and what didn't. And I think there is a great learning opportunity as well. So if you do have material, feel free to send that in. Other than that, um, hit that wonderful, wonderful, beautiful subscribe button and see you all in the next uh, mission. Take care and bye-bye.